Yo, so guys, welcome back to some video on Sugar and Channel today. I'm here to give you my Arsenal vs Aston Villa preview. Let's get right into it. So yeah, we're back in Premier League action uh, tomorrow as Arsenal take on Aston Villa at the Emirates Stadium and um, yeah, uh, obviously it was a very good performance on Thursday if you haven't checked my player ratings out for the match, make sure you go and do that it's a 4-1 win uh, on Thursday as we beat Mould FK in Europa League and of course last weekend we beat Manchester United 1-0 uh, at Old Trafford so we are coming off of the back of two very good wins and we're, we're in some good form as well as Aston Villa um, not in the best form, but however, you've seen how good they have been this season. They've had a very good start to the season, being obviously at, uh, Liverpool 7-1, which is absolutely insane. And the fact is that last season, we lost to them 1-0 at, at Villa Park. At the Emirates Stadium, we did beat them 3-2, but we were 2-0 down. And then Aubameyang with, with, with the free kick, and, and we done a very good comeback to end up winning 3-2. So, and our record at the Emirates against Aston Villa isn't great. Um, but I do think we will get the win. I, I am very confident for this game, um, mainly because obviously uh, we're in some very good form, and that's really not really in the best of form. Um, but I do think if we do win this, this will be very good for us. I think we we actually push up to fourth. We're one point of fourth, and we've lost three games already. So we have the best defense in the league so far, which is absolutely insane for us because when have we ever, ever, ever said that that we got the best defense in in the league before? But yeah, I do think we will win. My score prediction for this match is going to be Arsenal three, Aston Villa one. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's going to be a tight game. I do think it's going to be. It's not going to be easy. At all. Aston Villa, a very good side, and obviously, Emi Martinez. We do know him. He's coming back to the Emirates. Most definitely, most likely going to start, um, and he's probably going to turn into I don't know, Manuel Neuer. <laughs> I mean, that's probably what's going to happen, but. Yeah, uh, obviously they do have some very good players. Well, Jack Grealish, we all know him. We all know Jack Grealish. He's the one we have to watch. When we played him at Villa Park, he absolutely bossed. He just controlled the game and everything. They've always got some other. They got uh, John McGinney's all right. They got um, Ty Romans at the back. Um, he's all right, I guess. But um, yeah, like I said, I do think we will win three one. So let's go ask my uh, predict. predict like sort of a goal. We're gonna go with Burn Leno. Obviously, my first first goalkeeper. Absolutely no problems with him. Oh, we did start against. Uh, um, mold because uh, Runners was injured, but for now I am going to put Bunnamo in uh, main choice and uh, hopefully he can have a good performance. I'm going to go with a back four and three midfield obviously because I don't think we should be playing a back five against Aston Villa. I'm going to go over a back four. Sign off at right back, Hector Bellerin. Now I'll put Hector Bellerin there because he looks like he's going to be playing Premier League games, make the Niles will probably be playing Europa League games. I, and I've been impressed with Hector Bellerin recently, I think he's been actually really good and. Um, you know, I, I personally don't rate Hector Bellerin and I don't think he's good enough for Arsenal Football Club, but recently he has been doing very well, so I'm going to put Hector Bellerin in there. Uh, Centre-backs, I'm going to go with David Luiz, played really well, I thought, against Mould FK, and I will I was going to bring back Rob Holding again, but I am going to go with David Luiz for, for this match, um, bring him back for the Premier League and see how he does. Alongside him, obviously, the main man, Gabriel Magalas. Yeah, this guy, this guy's amazing. This guy's amazing. You know, he's, he's, he's absolutely class. This, as a defender, we've been crying out for for absolutely years. He's, he's one of them centre backs, and you can get hold of our team and say, All right, you do this, you do that. I think he's, 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 he's captain proven. If I was him, if if I was McCarthy, I would make him captain. You know, but like I think I'm, I'm, I'm the only Arsenal one who said this, but he, he deserves to be captain. He, he, he's a leader. He's got he's got that leadership. So I'm gonna go Gabriel Magalas at centre back um, with Dan Luiz as their pairing. Left back I've gone with obviously Kieran Tierney. Um, again, no problems. Absolutely no problems. He's he's he's, he's class. He's world class. Um, yeah, best left back in the league. No, I'm joking. Robertson is his best left back in the league. He's second best left back left back in the league. But anyway, yeah, he, he he's, he's absolutely class. Kieran Tierney. The three midfield is going to be interesting now. So let's start off with obviously Thomas Partey. Absolutely pocketed everyone. He pocketed the whole. He, he, against Man United, uh, this is what happened, yeah. He, he, you know, got back home. He emptied out his pockets. Obviously, he had his car keys, he had his phone, wallet, and then he had Paul Pogba. 
he had Bruno Fernandes and then you had Fred. Oh, no, Fred didn't even play. Yeah, he did, but and then you had McTominay. Yeah, he pocketed everyone. Yeah, superb. Um, Thomas Partey is going to go in there. Uh, and then Mohamed El Nenny. Uh, absolutely brilliant. Not Mohamed El sideways, Mohamed El forward. Yeah, actually, super. obviously, we're going to go with Mohamed El forward. He's been superb. He's honestly been one of our best midfielders. He's been one of our best players. We're going to go Partey, El Nenny. And um, then, as in front of them, I'm going to go Danny Ceballos. I was debating whether to do Granite Xhaka or not, but I'm going to go Danny Ceballos in there. And um, there's my brother. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I'm going to go Partey and Danny Ceballos in there. And then the front three. On the right-hand side, Nicola Pepe. I'm going to definitely start Pepe um, because mainly, why would, why would you start William? You'll start Nicola Pepe. He's been scored two in two in two games in Europa League. I don't know why I'm holding this. Um, he's been scored in two two in games, two goals in Europa League, so you've got to start him. Now, left left win, Bakayo Saka. He played against uh, on the bench against uh, Mould. And that's the reason why I'm going to start him because he's definitely probably going to start against um against uh Aston Villa and he was superb against Manchester United so I'm gonna put Bagao Saka in there and out front as the main striker it has to be the man and one and only Pierre Emerick Aubameyang um yeah I'm gonna drop like a zip I mean I know he hasn't been playing recently but I, I can just sense that Mikante is gonna go with Lacazette up front Aubameyang on the left and then Pepe on the right but this is what I would do I put Aubameyang up front so, yeah, there we have it. That's my predicted lineup. I said I do think we will win 3 1. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know what your predicted lineup is down below. Um, shout out to Arsenal Vlogs as well. And um, yeah, uh, make sure you go subscribe to his channel. Make sure you subscribe to his new one as well. This, he's got uh, two, Lucy Lucas Life. And also, um, he made a new like couple channel with his uh, girlfriend. So, make sure you go subscribe to them. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Come on, you gunners.